Hello everybody, my name is Anamika Singh and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I would like to tell you that I keep posting a lot of information regarding recent openings in, I would say, the private sector for academic and non-academic positions. I also share tips and tricks on how you can improve your online sessions if you are an online tutor. So I will link the entire playlist over here so that if you're new, you can just tap onto the I button and you can, you know, see all the information and all the videos which I have previously shared on this channel and stay up to date. Okay, now let's quickly move into today's topic. So in this video, we are going to talk about how you can increase your student rating. Okay, so uh, like if you are an online tutor, okay, in some tech organization, a tech company, right? So uh, there is this feedback system, which is for everyone. And it is also for the users of the service, right? So uh, there's this feedback system at students and also like, okay, they get five stars. Like when your session ends, they, uh, the, this particular message displays on their uh, screen, okay, that um, how did you like the session, rate the session, rate the tutor, something like that, okay. And I would say most of us, most of the tutors, at least initially, we all face this problem. We think that, okay, we gave our 100% in this particular session and we expect that, okay, we are going to get good rating. But sometimes reality is, you know, really different. Because we think that we gave our hundred percent, so obviously students are going to like it. They're going to give us, uh, you know, five stars, four stars, whatever, you know, what our expectations are, right? But sometimes we do not get that, okay? And I would say it is not fully under tutor's control, okay? It is also somewhere, you know, it depends on the students as well. But, uh, you know, at least we can control a few things from our end. Okay, so in this video, I will be sharing those five tips and tricks. These tips are very easy. Okay, they are, you know, there's no rocket science in it. But sometimes we forget to, you know, um, you know, actually inculcate these tips or inculcate these habits in our teaching methodology. Yes. So, and I'm saying this uh, so confidently. This is because I have actually, you know, applied them and I have seen the results. I could see that, okay, these students who, you know, used to be very bored in the session, they did not interact that well. But uh, after I, you know, started using these tips, so they started interacting a lot. They started engaging. They want to answer the questions which I'm asking. They want to participate in the activities. So you're interested to know how you can increase your student rating, how you can, you know, change a little bit of your teaching methodology and you can get good rating from students. And so I will request you to keep watching this video till the end. So first tip is build a repo with your students. Now, as soon as you, you know, start the session, it doesn't mean that you have to quickly dive into the topic. OK, you don't have to be very formal. You have to be friendly, but not exactly, you know, informal with the students. OK, so yes, you don't have to quickly dive into the topic. OK, you will you will have to start with a starting pitch. You will have to introduce yourself. Then you will have you might have to introduce the tools which are there on their, you know, on your screen, on their screens so that they can make a better use of those tools. Right. You can make them aware about it. Now, these are the technical things which you have to follow. Right. But in addition to this, you should also follow a few things uh, with, with the help of which you can build a repo with the students. OK, for example, you can ask how their day was. OK, and they had their lunch, brunch, dinner, whatever time you're taking a session, you can, you know, ask accordingly. Then you can talk about uh, how are their studies going. You can talk very normal things. You can, uh, you know, talk a little bit about the topic as well. Right. And sometimes it happens that some students are very early. OK, they uh, join before the session starts, before the session is about to start. So that, you know, time you can get extra. You can say this is bonus time for you to, you know, connect with your students. And uh, here you will not even, you know, be worried about that. OK, I have so much syllabus to cover in today's session. So, uh, you know, if I do a lot of chit chat with the students, it is going to affect. I won't be able to complete. So if uh, students use some students usually join early. So if you can have a good time with them, you can chit chat, you can ask how their day was and uh, what they like to do and everything. And also you can ask a few things. For example, if I'm taking a topic on health. So this sometimes happens that, uh, you know, whenever I ask, OK, students tell me, what do you think health is? Can anyone define it? So a lot of students who switched on their cameras earlier, they immediately switch off their cameras because they don't want to answer it, right? They don't want to face the embarrassment. They think that it is very embarrassing 
to speak if you do not know the answer so they usually do this okay and this could be prevented if the tutor is very i would say kind of friendly to them if they find the tutor approachable so uh, instead of directly asking a question okay tell me what do you mean by the term hell you can also add on to it that it's okay even if you do not know the exact definition of it you can tell me in a layman language i just want to get an idea of how much you know okay so you can you know i would say sugar coat things so that they do not uh, feel very strict about you they shouldn't have this uh, idea of the tutor as the tutor is very strict so they do not find the tutor approachable so they aren't going to engage much in the session and if it is going to be only a one way conversation so obviously you're not going to get good rating so yes this was about building your rapport with the students the second tip is do not say no to students now uh, you know the uh, reference for which i am using this i'm saying this sentence that do not say no is in reference to uh, like i have experienced this i'm sure some of you would have also experienced it in your online sessions that uh, you know some students are very eager to uh, you know participate in something like i experienced this uh, there was a girl okay she was uh, she was like in at the beginning of the session she told she told uh, ma'am i have a song i have written that song myself so i would i want to sing in front of everyone in this class so i found it a little i don't know i was a little awkward because i uh, hadn't been in that situation before so i did not know how to react i did not know that is it allowed in the session uh, to you know let students sing a song or you know tell a poem or something like that so i uh, was not very sure but still i said okay uh, let's just you know get done with the session and if we have time left at the end so like i would love to hear uh, whatever you have written whatever song you have written so she was very happy about it okay that i'm going to sing and because i had time at the end of the session okay so i told her that okay now you can sing but uh, sometimes we do not have time right some chapters i would say some concepts are really uh, lengthy so in that case you can just dodge that particular thing by saying that okay we will take this at the end of the session if we have time so if there's no time left obviously you know you won't be telling the student to sing and they will also understand about it right so yes this is how you can dodge this particular situation and also uh, it happened with me once more that uh, i was taking a session on water and there was a student and he informed me about it at the end of the session when i was really short on time though i completed the session i was going to end it i did not had much time okay but still at the end the student is saying ma'am i want to tell for uh, two poems i have prepared two poems can i uh, you know say it now so i was like okay we are not left with a lot of time and he said poem so i thought that okay these poems are going to be really long but then i was like okay you can uh, you know tell the first poem because we are really short on time okay we'll be uh, our session will get delayed so he was like okay ma'am so he started saying and i later on i found out that okay uh, those were just slogans and not poems so two slogans means they were just two sentences so i was like okay thank god but you know when i got the audit rating so the auditor said do not say no to students okay do not shut them down so this is what i learned this is what you should also follow that you know either you try to dodge the question in a way uh, so that they do not feel bad they do not feel like you have abruptly said them no okay you have denied them for the performance that they want to give in front of the class but you have to be a little smart with it okay if you have time you can take their songs poems whatever activities they want to perform or you can simply dodge the question so make sure that you do not abruptly say no you shouldn't refuse to their request okay and obviously talking about the justified request is not about you know if a student is saying something which is unjustified not good not uh, something that can uh, disrupt the decorum of the class right so obviously something which is normal so that you can say uh, yes to such things so the third tip is always appreciate your students when they give answers okay now uh, there are there is a possibility that students are not giving correct answers and some students are giving correct answers so always appreciate their participation always tell them because some students are very intimidated to speak up in the class to you know turn on their mic and speak something because uh, you know i was the same child as i grew up 
right i was that introvert i still am an introvert but like in school i was like that i did not want to raise a voice i was really shy and intimidated and i used to think what are people going to think about me if i give the wrong answer so uh, i sometimes feel that if some teachers actually encouraged me encouraged other students like me who were not that you know extrovert i would have been uh, you know better i would have performed better i would have more interactive i would have been more interactive during my school time so uh, you know we all have faced that somewhere in our life so it's better if you try to implement it right and we do not um, behave like what others behaved with us right we have to be better than them so yes this is why you should you know always encourage the students that it's okay even if you do not know the answer even if you are not sure whether this answer is going to be correct speak up try to speak up if you make some mistakes you'll definitely remember them that okay whenever you'll be giving an exam you'll remember okay i earlier i said this and you know this answer was wrong so obviously this is going to be wrong and this answer is going to be correct so uh, you know you should encourage the students and you should also appreciate whenever they answer if it is if it was a right answer then you should definitely say that okay i appreciate uh, whatever you said this really shows that yes you are very attentive because you are very clear with the concepts you were able to answer this question correctly and if the other students who gave the wrong answer you can tell them okay that is really appreciable that you try to participate and you try to put on your point okay but this answer is wrong and don't worry i will tell you how this why this answer is wrong and why the correct answer is going to be correct okay so in this way you have to sugarcoat things you have to be polite you don't have to make them feel that okay they were not able to answer the question so you know this somewhere discourages them that okay in when there will be a next question so they will think that i don't know if this is going to be correct or not so you have to encourage them so tip number 4 is always try to ask your students about their favorite now uh, you must be wondering that how can we introduce this question at some place because it seems somewhere out of the context right and yes i totally agree with you if you're thinking the same but you can very seamlessly introduce this question while you're teaching a particular topic and you can also mold this question according to the topic i'll give you an example okay for example you are teaching plant uh, physiology you are teaching about fruits okay you are going to teach what are the different parts of the fruits what are seeds what are what is the thalamus what is going to be the ovary all of that you are going to tell about the significance as well so you can very seamlessly say that okay students before we get into the complex um you know anatomy and complex concepts of today's topic first tell me which one is your favorite fruit okay so you just ask this question and see the speed of you know comments which are uh, in the chat box okay students are literally going to bombard the chat box because obviously it somewhere feels uh, you know they uh, feel that okay this question is something that you know the teacher wants to know about it teacher wants to know some extra information about it right so uh, like this has literally happened with me every single time i uh, introduce this kind of question i ask this particular question in the class so students always interact and they engage you know the most okay so this is how you can do it and if you introduce or if you say this term that okay students my favorite is also mango if they are most of them are saying mango fruit okay so if you say this literally they are going to feel that okay uh, the favorite their favorite is similar with the favorite of the teacher so this somewhere builds a little connection okay this is a very easy thing very normal thing but if you actually you know uh, introduce this if you try to inculcate this in your teaching methodology it is going to create a lot of difference and you will instantly see the difference that you are making in students engagement so tip number 5 is always give extra information in your sessions now with this extra information i mean is that uh, i'm sure you must have you know read in your school times you, some of you would have read ncrts but because i was in uh, icsc board so we do not follow ncrt over there but yes i have read ncrt and icsc books as well iisc and icsc books and in all those books this is a common thing okay there is going the entire concepts of the chapter of a particular chapter and that uh, at the uh, you know top or at the bottom you'll see a box which is different in color okay and there will be a tag did you know and there's going to be a question mark so like honestly speaking i loved uh, reading those extra points reading those uh, fun facts okay because they somehow somewhere related the theory that we are studying to the practical thing which is happening around the world 
So I was always intrigued to know about it. Similarly, you can, you know, inculcate something like this in your session as well. Try to give them extra information regarding whatever you're teaching. You can also collect fun facts and then you can tell. Now, when you will be getting a session, obviously, you will have some time to prepare for it. Then you can actually, you know, go to the internet and find some fun facts related to it if you do not know about them. And if you already know some extra information, you can, you know, just uh, remember, you just keep, your, keep it in your mind that, okay, you have to uh, mention about this particular thing while you're teaching. So obviously everyone is very curious to know something extra from what you know they are seeing what from what they are learning from their books from the slides from whatever the teacher is teaching right so if you are going to give this extra information uh, like i'm very sure that you know the uh, students are actually going to feel that okay this teacher gives us extra information on every concept on every session you know he or she takes so this is a great tip not just for i would say the small students the younger kids the i would say the small grades but also for students of higher grades that was all about today's video i know i talked a lot in this particular video and i seriously don't know how long this video is going to be i'll come to know about that after editing the entire thing so yes i hope you found this information helpful and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so you never miss an update i'll see you in the next video till then bye